Imagine you are having an environment where there are thousands, ten thousand or more devices are present and you are deploying hundreds of applications. What if in certain cases certain application on certain set of devices get stuck in waiting for maintenance window? It's been days, it's been weeks, it's been months, but still the application is stuck in waiting for maintenance window. What could be a possible reason? What can be work around and the fix? That is what we are going to see in this particular video. If you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe so that you get more updates related to MECM, that is Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager. Over here, from n number of apps, let us focus on one single application, why one particular application is failing. So I reviewed that particular application name, apapenforce.log. However, I found no entry over there. So no information was present. Second thing I checked is that in software center, it was showing as waiting for maintenance window. So over here, I clicked on install and it installed successfully so in this particular scenario the application is available but in the broad environment where i saw the devices were having multiple apps as waiting for maintenance window when i click it installed successfully so manual intervention is working fine that is another observation that i see over here proceeding now to understand why a particular application doesn't install automatically so the question is why application deployment is not enforcing automatically this is a critical question that we need to understand so let us do a brief understanding on application deployment lifecycle and for this particular purpose i'm going to take a support of microsoft document where step-by-step -step instruction is provided for troubleshooting application deployment where it is given about the policy creation policy targeting then assignment of policy to the devices which all logs comes into the consideration how application is deployed evaluated installed which I have summarized in this particular word document. First is policy creation. Second is application deployment for device or user collection. Then the CI agent log where the metadata is downloaded. Then it invokes the SDM method where it detects whether the application is there, not there. If not there, it will go forward and download the content. And once the content is downloaded, it will enforce the application to get it installed and it will send the state message. So there are multiple logs that are considered during this particular process. So this is a brief snap of what is provided in Microsoft document. Going back to our problem statement where why application deployment is not enforcing automatically. I am already familiar that in app enforce.log I am not seeing any entry. So I started my checklist from the first step where I am able to see unique assignment IDs in policy policyagent.log as well as entry I am able to see it in scheduler. However, while reviewing DCM agent plot log, in this particular log, I am able to see an error which is 0x870-00315. While reviewing to understand what does this error refer to, when we use our CM trace tool and in that particular tool, I search this particular error, it reflects CI version info data is not available. At the same point of time, I am able to see an article of Microsoft document where this particular error description is provided. So this sounds to be a known issue. Now let us understand the fix for this particular problem. We have our problem statement, we have our workaround where clicking in install in the software center it helps now the fix is to rename a file now let us understand that each and every client machine maintains a small database for application ci that is configuration item so that particular entry is already present in each client machine 
this is stored as ccmstore.sdf so this particular file ccmstore.sdf if i rename it or if i delete it then automatically next time again this particular file ccmstore.sdf is created and with the help of this the ci version info timeout error which we were seeing in dcm agent log is no longer visible automatically it proceeds ahead and the next time the application goes forward and completes the entire channel it installs successfully so this is one of the fix of renaming ccmstore.sdf so apart from that even if we reinstall the client then this also provides a success result that is for that we need to uninstall the ccm client and reinstall it so during this particular process entire database is clean up of the local client machine this also helps for a clean installation next time so both the fixes has given a positive result in my environment where applications are deploying successfully do share your thoughts by commenting on this particular video because your comments are helping me to be motivated and share more knowledge that i am experiencing in mecm that is microsoft endpoint configuration manager if you like this video do like do share it with your friends and click subscribe with this this is yagnesh malavia signing out i will see you in the next video thank you